define what a coach is and how you are helping a person make the transformation or change as well yeah th thanks for that that's a that's a really important question so what i can what i'll how i'll answer it is that i could tell you how i coach and how some of my colleagues coach um i can't speak for every coach out there because they all have different trainings and different approaches i think um but i so i'm not i don't tell anybody what to do I don't, i'm not an advice giver when I coached high school basketball, I, they either you did what you were told, or you were you know you on the bench, or you're off the team. So mm. there's somewhat of a, you know dictatorship there. Um, and, you know, again, professional just to, to carry the analogy forward. Professional coaching, as we know it now, what I do and what others do, that did grow out of athletics because people said, well, if the best people in the world, if Olympic athletes and professional baseball players and basketball players, football players have coaches, wouldn't it make sense for successful business people to be coached as well? So that's where it definitely grew from. But there's a big difference, especially like professional basketball, which is going on right now, the playoffs, as you said. You know, first of all, it's an entertainment business. There's lots and lots of money involved, and there's money at stake if you win or lose a game or a season or a championship. It's, so it's a really different feel contrasted with what I do. Um, so I'll occasionally ask my client if it's okay if I point something out or teach them something that I think would be really helpful to them. But mostly I listen, I ask questions. They tell me what they want to accomplish. I don't say, well, you should do this. They tell me what they want to accomplish. And then my work is to offer to them, here's what I hear from you. And here are the muscles that I think would best help you get to what it is you accomplish. Again, muscles meaning it could be cognitive development, emotional, interpersonal skills, moral reasoning, whatever it happens to be. And moral reasoning, not so much, you, you know, are you a good person or an evil person? But the moral line of development is the should line. In a given scenario, what should I do? That's a moral decision. What's the pluses and minuses? That's why when I say moral, I'm not talking about you know, coaching good and evil people. This is a different meaning. Occasionally, as I said, I will offer insight, um, but I never, I would never pretend to tell a client what to do. Coaching, if you look at the International Coach Federation, they're almost dictatorial about that, that coaches aren't mentors, they're not consultants, and they're not uh, teachers. Although we, we do a little bit of that if we're really doing a good job. You know, uh, there's a wonderful book, and I'm going to forget the name of it right now, but it basically characterizes the seven roles that coaches play, in, even in the course of one conversation. You know, you're a contractor, you're a Doug Silsby, who is deceased as the author of the book. Um, you're a contractor, you're a teacher, you're a mentor, you're a guide, you're a facilitator. So you play these different roles. But in the type of coaching that I do, I'm rarely, if ever, an advice giver. Um, the, the closest I would come to have is if a client said, well, what would you do in my situation? Mm -hmm. And I have a long answer to that, which I won't share now. But I would say, you know, basically, if, if I were in your situation, I'm not saying if you were in your situation, but if I were in your situation, because this is how I look at things, I might do this. And often when somebody asks me a question like that, I say, I have no idea because I'm not, hypotheticals have never served me well. Um, they're fun to play with, but uh, I'm not a big guy on hypotheticals. Give me a real situation. And let's work through that together. The connecting with intent formula. Strategy plus connections plus systems plus value equals capital. Social first and social capital creates financial capital.